Well, we have a new Alpha course starting very soon. And I wanted to chat to Laura about her experience of Alpha. Um, she's just finished the course. So Laura, how did you end up coming along to the last Alpha course? Um, I just found out about it from you guys. Um, I just went to a conference at the beginning of the year and we just I just left there with so many questions like those big life questions that you know not just one person can give you a satisfactory answer for it's great to get lots of other um, opinions on yeah great and people do that at alpha like they come to alpha with all of these questions in fact on the first couple of weeks we ask people what are your biggest questions and we encourage people to ask them whatever they are they don't have to be Christian questions they could be anything and so when you arrived, what was your biggest question? My biggest question was about suffering. Um, yeah, I just wanted to know how a whole loving God who says he can do X, Y, and Z, he can, you know, he's all loving, you know, allow suffering, especially to those who are most vulnerable. Yeah, thanks, Laura. And often, um, I think I've been involved in about 20 Alpha courses now, that is the biggest question which emerges time and time again. And it's a really important question. And in many ways, it's an unanswerable question, but you went on a bit of a journey of it. So why did you have that question? And just share a little bit about that, because I think it was about week two or three, we ended yeah. up having a slightly longer discussion about it. Yeah, so basically um, my son was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when he was um, four weeks old. So this was four years ago. He, um, you know, he had the genes for it like before he was born, um, unbeknownst to us. And it just, you know, it shook our whole world. The whole, the whole um, situation um, just really rocked my whole family. And um, yeah, there was a lot of grieving. There was a lot of suffering. Um, and I just, yeah, I was really angry about it. And I had a lot of questions about it. Yeah, so you arrived at Alpha and like shared that story with a wonderful group of people we kind of went on that journey but it was almost like on that first night of alpha you weren't satisfied with the answers is that right yeah i think like when we spoke about it and i'd had like so many wonderful different opinions um on on suffering um i just left and i i felt like i didn't have an answer to my question and i know that there's no real answer to suffering um you know i get that but I just didn't feel like at peace, you know, like I found what I was looking for. Yeah. So we finished the session and I found the session really helpful, but particularly with a subject like suffering, like you're kind of wrestling and you're looking at different aspects. And again, in many ways, it's an unanswerable question and it's quite crass to try and answer it with a simple formula, but something shifted for you over the week, didn't it, between mm. the two sessions? I think like over the week, it gave me time to process actually what was said you know and process people's thoughts and views and i think that was really helpful for me um you know and i kind of came to my own conclusion about what that looked like and what that meant for you know for my life and for my son and for my family um and you know he my son's really well we're you know we're really good we're really thankful for that um so yeah i think I was able to process what that kind of looked like. Mm. So it helped you go on that journey. It didn't necessarily answer the question, but you were able to think about that with kind of a supportive group of people. Yeah, I definitely was allowed to think about it, explore. I was allowed to share my frustrations, my anger, you know, my emotion. Um, and I suppose that actually kind of helped with like my whole healing process of like what I'd been through for the last four years. Um, it was yeah it was quite cool because it was not with everyone you know like your best mate or someone you know that you know really well it was actually I think maybe that helped heal it more because there was you know no background information there yeah and often people sound alpha that it's the group and the friendships they make with these completely random people that they mm. wouldn't have met mm. otherwise yeah. that, that makes a difference yeah and you you invited someone on Alpha because we were I meeting did. online and there was someone you knew quite well <laughs> so in the group. Do you want yes. to just say a bit more about that? So my mum, she lives in the UK. I invited my... Wait, wait. <laughs> I invited my mum. Um, and so she joined the course for her, um, her own reasons. Um, 
but yeah that was one of the great things that um, doing it on zoom allowed us to do and um, you know one of the positives from being locked down and forced to do everything online it made made everyone come a bit out their comfort zone yeah and she she invited her next door neighbor along as well is that right she did she invited her next door neighbor Bruce along and um, he was very interesting he had some great ideas and great opinions yeah and so so alpha is a really great thing and a super chilled thing to invite people to and that's what we want to encourage you to do um on our last course we had people in the uk people in australia someone like down in the city about an hour away who wouldn't have been able to come otherwise so we're going to be doing it on zoom we're going to try and also meet face to face if if covid allowed but we'd love for you to invite people on our next alpha course the information is going to be below it's a facebook event so just invite them who knows what will happen we'd love for you to join us thank you so much say goodbye laura See ya. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.